Morning guys, thanks for tuning in to Callum's Reef Tank on Thinking Reef. Today we're actually at Dobie's in Livingston, which has a fish keeper store inside. We're here because it's the fish keeper birthday weekend, so they've got 15% off quite a lot of things. Um, they've got 15% off aquariums, they've got 15% off all livestock, um, and I think they're giving away some um, free stuff from the suppliers for X amount of customers. Unfortunately, we're here on Sunday, um, and it started yesterday. Well, I had a busy day yesterday, so there was no way I was coming in yesterday, but we're here today, so we'll go in, we'll take a look, we'll do a wee video. Um, I have my trusty Arca lens with me today. Um, it's really portable, so it can go in your pocket. So we're going to go in, have a look around, take a little shot at the, the store, have a look at their coral tank. I'm looking for some euphelia, so um, I know they've got some purple hammer frags and things in. So we'll have a look at those, see, see what we can pick up. And yeah, so we'll have a little tour around the shop and I'll show you around and we'll join you back at the house, probably, hopefully, putting some stuff in the tank. Um, the missus has already pre-warned me not to buy too much. Um, so, <laughs> probably going to get in trouble when I go home. Um, might pick up some fish. I mean, we're day two, so don't know what they're, they're going to have in. I know they've probably stopped up for the weekend, so there might be quite a lot. Um, well, so we'll just have to see. All right, guys, thanks for joining us, um, and I'll catch you up back at the house. Just gotta have a look around, mate. Hi guys, so been at the fish keeper, as I expected, they didn't have as much left as probably they had yesterday. The lady in the shop says they'd been hit quite hard yesterday, they were busy. Uh, they had quite a lot of nice fish in, nice little uh, sail fins, I've got some photos, uh, I've got some videos of the tanks and stuff as well. But I did manage to pick up a couple of things, so I picked up a, a red starfish, just a nice little starfish. They, they add to the tank, you know, they're not expensive, really easy to keep. Um, and yeah, so I picked one of those up, um, and I also picked up a little green and purple hammer frag. Um, so not, nothing too exciting, nothing too much. Uh, the the message from the missus in the back of my mind, 
saying basically don't spend too much money so that was in the back of my mind so it's all here but we got the freebies as well so we've got some super glue and stuff but we'll, we'll open that when we get home as you can see it's all strapped in uh, nicely remember your road safety guys make sure the, the goods inside the vehicle are protected at all times and um, so we'll go home we'll get the guys acclimated and we'll get them in the tank and we'll see you there hi guys so we're back at the house and as you can see, I've got my bags in the tank. So I just chuck them on with a peg onto my light uh, leg there um, and I'm floating them in the tank. So there's a little red starfish in here um, and I've got a hammer frag here as well. So basically just trying to acclimatize the temperature just now. Um, and then what we're gonna do is open the top and start introducing some of the tank water into the bags um, to slowly acclimatize them to any changes in pH, salinity, um, or just any kind of water parameters at all. Um, it's really important to remember when you're acclimatizing starfish that they're very sensitive to pH changes and salinity changes, so you need to do them very slowly um, over a maybe matter of hours. So we'll do that today. The other thing to remember when we're doing starfish is that normally what I would probably do is try and not put any of this water in my tank. Um, however, starfish shouldn't be exposed to the air so what we're probably going to do is just dip it underneath the water and pull the starfish out so we're probably going to get the the water from the fish store into the system but you know i trust the fish store and um, that i shop at so it shouldn't be a problem um when we were there we also got um, a bag of freebies so we've got this nice big bag for life which we'll probably be using to go everywhere now so my missus will be fairly chuffed about that um, and we've got some freebies. So what have we got? So we've got a Arca pen and a JPL um, notepad, which I'll use at work. Um, we got another tub of Coral Scaper Super Glue, which is brilliant stuff. I've done some video on that before. But yeah, it's really good. Um, so quick chuff with that. There's a tub of Night Out Starter Bacteria, which is actually very handy because I've got another nano project about to start and I was actually about to buy some Night Out starter bacteria so that was very convenient um, and also this book um, so they had different books got to choose them um, obviously I went the second day so there wasn't as much choice so I went for the butterfly book um, but these are really good books there seems to be quite a lot of information um, as you can see um, on lots of different butterfly fish and there's lots of nice photos um, to go along it so if you're ever looking for any information on a fish um, these books look excellent um, so I might actually try and get some other ones I think at the back here it shows you that there's some other books you can get, there's the Surgeon Fish one um, I know there's more than that because I had a different couple of different ones at the shop as well So, but yeah, so that's where we are just now so we will put these guys in after we've acclimatised them and drip, drip acclimatised them and we will have a look once they're in the tank, alright guys thanks so it's been a little while now and my starfish is still acclimatizing. I've been adding some water slowly just using this little tub um, because I don't have a drip acclimator, but um, just adding a little bit of water at a time to the bag um, and letting it settle. Um, the hammer frag is now acclimatized. So what I've now done is I have two bowls over here and I have it one in, one on the left. Um, I'm actually using Coral um, RX to dip the coral. Um, basically what happens is when you bring a coral home from a fish store, um, there could be any number of hitchhikers on the coral. So it's healthy to dip it just to make sure there's nothing on it. Um, and then I've got a second bowl here which I just use to rinse the coral after I've dipped it before it goes back into the system. So basically it's um, six drops per 500 ml or 12 drops per litre of Coral RX. Um, you're supposed to use a power head to kind of blast the coral so that if there is anything on it, um, it'll come off. But um, if you don't have a power head, basically you can just take your hand and, and give it a shake. Um, it's only been in here a couple of minutes so far, so we're going to leave it some more, um, some a bit longer. Um, and then we're going to pop it in the tank. The reason that I put it in white bowls is just so that you can see what actually comes off the coral um, and to see if there was actually any parasites um, or anything that was a hitchhiker that maybe wouldn't be um, great for your system. So, so okay, cool. So we'll join us again when um, both the, the hammer and the starfish are back in the tank. So it's been a couple of hours now and I have acclimatised my starfish. Um, you can see him here, he's on the rock and he's nice and happy and I've also finished dipping and acclimatising my hammer coral which you can see here. 
Um, so we did different on RX, Coral RX. Um, as you can see, there's nothing that's come off them really. There's a couple of specs in there, but it's nothing living that I can see. Um, you know, I do trust the fish store, but yeah, you never know. So it's always worth um, doing just so you don't get anything in your system. So, um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully you found today's video interesting. I'm always keen to get feedback. So if you want to leave some feedback below, um, be sure to do that. Um, and if there's anything you want to, to see me do next time or there's any um, thing you want me to change, just let me know. Um, it would be it would be good to hear from you. Um, as you can see, lovely little addition to the to the aquarium. Just pops a little bit of colour and just gives it a bit something a bit different to look at. Um, and hopefully this hammer when it settles in and comes right out will look really nice as well. So I'm going to post some videos and some um, photos and stuff with Arco Lens from Fishkeeper today as well on Instagram. So if you're not got me on there, guys, follow me on there. It's Finkin' Reef. You can get my link on my YouTube um, channel page, on the homepage. Make sure you hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified of my videos, make sure you hit the bell button below, guys. Or if you're on Instagram, make sure you jump over to YouTube, which is Finkin' Reef on YouTube, um, and do the same over there. Alright guys, take care.